In this video, we're going to learn how to make a more complicated CDS query and notification. To begin, go to Setup, Charting Setup, CDS Query Setup. So this new query is meant to identify patients with the problem of diabetes in the clinic that have not had a hemoglobin A1C result at all in the last six months. The panel manager is going to run this list regularly and communicate with the PCN diabetes nurse to see who is due for recall at the practice. So to begin, we're going to click new and we're going to call this diabetes no HBA 1C in the last six months. At this point while we're building it we're going to unclick notify on chart and unclick notify on appointments and click save. Now we're going to build the query. So this new line of the query is going to look at the client information. So this is going to apply to valid Alberta patients and because this is a whole clinic project that's the only criteria that we're going to set on this page. We could also say that they are verified and we may pick patients that are only adults over the age of 18 years of age. We're going to put a very high age at this end to make sure we don't miss anybody. I'm going to save that line. At this point, you would save and close the query and then run that report to make sure that you have all those patients that are valid Alberta patients on your list. Now we have to add a new line to the query. So the next line of the query is going to narrow down just to people on their problem list. So we're going to pick problems and the problem type that we're going to apply this query to are only patients with diabetes. Now, as you can see, this practice was not always naming things as diabetes the same way by all providers, but they've made an agreement and everybody is now only using diabetes mellitus. So we're gonna double click on that and that is going to be the problem of which this query applies to. So all the patients have to have diabetes documented in their problem list. It also has to be an active problem. So that is our second line of the query. At this point, we're going to save the line and we would normally save and close the query and then run the report and say, ah, do we have a list of the patients with diabetes in the practice? In order to make sure that they have diabetes, this practice did do some uh, panel cleanup and some problem identification to make sure that they were accurately documenting the problems and that patient with diabetes did have it on their problem list. Now we're gonna add another line to the criteria. This new line is actually going to look at lab results. So now what we want to do on this line of the query is first we're going to try to identify patients that have had a hemoglobin A1C in the last six months. So let's look at result date is under six months ago, not over six months ago. Also, the next criteria is identifying the hemoglobin A1C. Now to do this, you need to look in live charts, find patients with hemoglobin A1C, and you have to match the result type or the test description. These vary by lab region across Alberta, so they're not all the same. You have to look at how yours are documented. So at this point, I'm going to, for my demonstration, write in hemoglobin A1C. Okay, again, you have to find how they're documented in your charts from your lab region. At this point, we're gonna save the line. We would save and close the query, and then again, run the report. And you would look at that list, and you would evaluate your list and say, do I have on my list patients with diabetes who've had a hemoglobin A1C in the last six months? 
Once you're satisfied that your list is accurate and valid, the last thing you're going to do is you're going to change this last line of the query. And we're now going to look for patients that have not had a hemoglobin A1C in the last six months by clicking the not button. We're going to save, close the query, you would run that report and you would say, do I have patients that have not had hemoglobin A1Cs in the last six months? Validate, validate, validate. Once you're satisfied that your query is looking at the information correctly, you can save the query here. At this point, if the practice was going to have the panel manager work with this list in accordance with other team members, then they would leave it here. If they want to have notifications on the charts to catch those patients as they're coming through the clinic for other concerns, then you can notify on charts and notify on appointments. And then when the patient is in front of you, mention that they are due for their hemoglobin A1C and offer the requisition to the patient.